Hit me. What is this? What was that? What did he do to me? What the fuck was that? What was that? What is happening? Okay, and now we are going to be playing. Let's see. Punch Out is going to be an interesting one because I never played this version before. I've played, I've played Punch Out for the NES, SNES, and the Wii, but I've never played this one. And I think there's only four fights in it, so here's the open. But okay. All right, welcome back. Zoins, we got punch out now punch out for the arcade so released in february 1984 so it was released in february 1984 for americans anyway by the way but um i'm still going in chronological order this game is going to be different because i never played this one i played all the other punch out games except for this one but let's see uh, the arcade game was a global commercial success, becoming the top performing arcade of 1984. Wow. Was there a story to this? The game was developed in 1983 and released in February 1984. Ginyo Takeda from the Integra Integrated Research and Development Division was the lead developer, and Shigeo Miyamoto designed the characters. I never knew that, huh? It was released in the first quarter of 1984 when, when Nintendo was making several coin-operated arcade machines. Nintendo had an excessive number of video monitors after the success of the Donkey Kong series, basing the purchases on the estimate for the demand for arcade games. They were offered a proposition to make an arcade game that uses two monitors. They chose to make a boxing game. Interesting. You're a boxer trying to become world champion, and it's a green-haired boxer who looks nothing like Little Mac in the later games, but apparently is Little Mac from the later games. Or his name just happens to also be Little Mac. It's weird, but whatever. Like I said, I never played this one. They still kept the same jingle, huh? Holy shit. It has the same exact song. I like that. So they didn't change much in the SNES ver in the NES version. Okay. So I knew for this game I would have to play with the keyboard. I didn't think I'd have to play so soon, but um I knew I'd have to play the keyboard for this cuz there are a lot of buttons for this game and I I wouldn't be able to do that with the one button controller I had. Hey, look it's Donkey Kong. What the hell? Where'd you see Donkey Kong at? Oh gosh, he just he just won't leave. Now he's at boxing matches. The far left. Okay, so we gotta look out for Donkey Kong then. So I think there are only four fights in the game. Uh, WVBA, which I think stands yeah stands for World World Video Boxing Association. So that's the <laughs> that's the association we're fighting under. What the hell? I didn't get to put in my name. Okay, so Glass Joe is a bitch in the um in almost every version except for this one. Coach. Coach, you never taught me how to do a fucking uppercut. Uh, coach. How do I do a fucking uppercut, coach? You never taught me. Dang it! Get up, boy! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, I never played this version. What the fuck? There is Donkey Kong! What are you doing in here, Donkey? Alright, so my coach didn't teach me how to do an uppercut while we were practicing. But I think I, I know how to now. Okay. We'll try this again. Come 
Okay, I think I know how this game works. I think I know how this game works. Yes! Yeah! Thank you. Piston Hurricane. Okay, I think I know how this game works. Oh hell yeah, I can I can box like I actually would box. Fucking aggressive! Aggression! Oh fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is happening? Gotcha, bitch! Get your ass on the floor! Yes! Damn, he got up again? Impressive. You earned my respect, Piston Hurricane. But that's a TKO, my friend. Thank you. Oh, shit. I don't like Bald Bull. I don't like him in any punch out. Honestly. Ah! He still has the bull rush, of course. Ah, bald bull's aggressive. He's not gonna let me hit him that easily. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Dude, this game is fucking crazy. He weighs 298 pounds. Bitch, how much does how much do does my character weigh? Yes! Got him. How many hops did he do? Two? <laughs> BRBZ. All right, Hobbs. Damn it. Okay, at least I, I knocked him down once, though. And with Piston Hurricane, you can, um, Piston Hurricane. Wait, I got another try? Wait. Why do I get why whoa, why do I get another try? Got him. Three. Yeah. I don't know why I got to fight him again, but hell yes. Whoo! Kid quick. Gotcha. Okay, he doesn't block as badly as Bald Bull. So he's actually not too bad right now. But I'm not gonna count my chickens just yet. Holy shit! Holy shit! His name is Kid Quick. I thought he dodged all my hits or something. 235. <laughs> His name is Pizza, pa Pizza Pasta. Come on, bitch. Fucking hit me. What is this? What was that? What did he do to me? What the fuck was that? What was that? What is happening? What the fuck was that? He started humping me on the fucking, in the middle of the ring. 
Whoa. What is this fight? What is this fight? Come on. Is he not going to attack until I attack? How does this fight work? What's your game here, pizza? What is that? What is that? He holds me. He grabbed your nuts? Dude, are you kidding me? What the f what was that? Oh my goodness. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. We get a little bit. Fingers get a little bit slower. See, now he's just watching me. He follows my guard, though. I like that. I like that attention to detail. These sprite works look really good, by the way. <sighs> he's not backing off. I have to hit him first, but I don't know how this works, dude. What do you do? Fuck! Oh my gosh, I'm getting my ass kicked all of a sudden. Damn it! I almost knocked him out too. Did I get the, I got the high score already? Fucking hell. Got him. Yes. Yes. I made it, Mama! I'm in the I'm in the champion fight. Woo! Okay, I see I see what you got to do there. I see what you got to do. He's not that hard. He's not that hard. I see what you got to do. Holy shit! Philadelphia, 312 pounds. Mr. Sandman. Fuck! I never fight this version before. Here we go. We're gonna try it. Holy shit, I'm sorry I'm being so loud. Okay. 
I didn't really expect to beat Mr. Sandman on the first try, but that's not too bad. I knocked him down. I knocked him down at least. Hold on, we're gonna play this one more time. Ah. Uh, all right. <sighs> this is what happens to me. I get, I get a little like. I lose my, I lose my rhythm a little bit. That's all right though. We'll get, we'll come back. Oh my gosh, why do I suck at this game now? I went from being pretty good at fighting these guys to now I just can't, I can't beat anyone. All right, let me take a minute to relax. I think making it to Mr. Sandman got me too excited. Okay, let me just, let me just relax for a second. This game is very much fun though. This game is uh probably the, Probably the best well-made game Nintendo's made so far, just in terms of like animation, programming, sound effects. This game is very much uh, fun. And it is, it is, it's tough. It's tough. There's a bit of a learning curve to it, but when you get that learning curve, you can kind of understand what you're supposed to be doing here and how it works. Like, if you lift your guard up, they lift their guard up. If you lift yours down, they lift theirs down, usually. To play a, a punch-out game with no ducking. Alright. So, a Piston Hurricane and Glass Joe, my, my, the best strategy I can think of is to be aggressive with them. Alright. Whew. Not my most grateful, graceful fights, but we're getting there. For some reason, Kid Quick gets harder the, the more I fight him. Like, the first time I fought him, he didn't seem hard at all. But for some reason, the more I fight him, the harder he is. Damn. I really wish they'd stay down. Okay. I've been wanting to fight Pizza Pasta again anyway. Alright. Let's get it! You're gonna have to try something else, pizza! Cause that ain't gonna happen on me anymore. That Floyd Medweather shit isn't gonna work on me anymore. champion baby hell yeah Woo! fuck that defending my belt I'll defend it for a little bit but we did it that was the that was the last that was the last cannon game I had to play I'm not even gonna try to get that far I don't even care because like most arcade games, it's just the same thing now. Why is my... Whoa, my punches are even slower than before. Okay. I didn't want to give my belt to Glass Joe, so... 
that works for me. If I lose to Piston Hurricane in this next fight, I'm, I'd rather give him my belt than give it to fucking Glass Joe, so. Will this never stop? They're wrong for that. You're wrong for that, Nintendo. That'll never stop? <laughs> that's fucked up. Oh, that's fucked up. Wow. That's BS. That's a little BS. Come on. All right. Well, there we go. That's my score. 143,000. I think that's the most points I've gotten in any arcade game. There we go. Punch Out is done. My goodness. That game. <laughs> that game. Yeah, I thought that would be the longest one I played. But yeah, that was... That definitely took up most of the time. I blew through Mario Brothers, Qbert, Donkey Kong 3. Punch out, not so much. But I fucking beat it. And I'm so happy for myself about that. So, what can I say about Punch Out? I mean, first off, graphics wise, the sprite animation is superb. Best sprite animation we've seen yet. There's like expression, there's like a whole character portraits. There's a whole like, you know, there's like an, an audience. I mean, it's good. And the way they made it work is they have two screens. They have the screen where you fight and the screen that shows you like your two characters and their like uh, the round number and all that stuff. It really works. Um, Punch Out's music is good, of course. It's got very catchy jingles that will that will pretty much go through to the rest of the series in a way. There's not really much to say bad about. I mean, the the challenge is fair because you can start off and get your ass by Glass Joe like I did, but if you learn how the game works and learn what they're trying to make you do, you can. You can you can you can learn how to play it to where the challenge is fair. It's not like unfair. And even Pizza Pasta for a second, I was like, "What are you supposed to do here?" But then when I figured it out. He's like the easiest fight in the game now. Great job to Nintendo once again. I mean, is it really a surprise at this point? Great game. If I was a kid, this would be the arcade I probably would spend the most money on. I'll be honest. One because there's actual progression. There's different fighters, and there's a there's a legitimate beating to it. You know. There you can actually beat it like you can become world champion so really really fun game really awesome i think that game deserves every bit of credit that it gets but uh thank you to all the people watching on youtube i appreciate you so much please like subscribe and comment and sh tell your friends about me help me spread the word about what i'm doing here and um tell me any memories you have of this game in the comments section because i'm actually interested to hear what you uh how you feel about this game but the next game up is a is going to be Tetris, which is a filler game, but Tetris is like one of the most addicting games of all time, so it had to be on the list somewhere. You already know that. But um, that is it for me. I'm going to go rest because I have been playing video games for nonstop, and I love it. But all that focus for Punch-Out, I, I need to unwind with some non-focus things. Please pick yourself up a copy of the Brew Rebels. It's a shonen manga I created. Um, it's just a one shot right now, but if you want the full story, I need your guys' support with this. I need you guys to go to Amazon and buy yourself a copy. The link's right there in the chat. It is a must buy, and um, it's getting better and better. The art is superb. If you want to check out how good the art is now, go and check it out on my Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. Please show the Blue Rebels some love. I put a lot of work into it, and I have so much more for you guys to see. Dude, I felt like I was Mac trying to come up with strategies to beat this guy. My coach wasn't telling me anything. My coach was just sitting there calling out what I'm doing. It's like, dodge, body blow, body blow. Like, tell me what to do. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'm going to get out of here. I love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next stream. Goodbye. Oh, wait, how do I? Wait, let me, uh, see ya. <laughs>